Hello everyone! Welcome to the second and final part of our Princess Cruises Lunch Buffet Tour. In this video, you'll see the food from days 5 through 11 of our 2024 cruise aboard the Regal Princess, culminating with a special sushi, seafood, and cake buffet spectacular on the final lunch. If you haven't seen part 1, be sure to watch it first for the items that are available for every lunch buffet, plus some useful tips. Before we get to the food, I wanted to show you a tip on buffet seating. Depending on your ship, there could be an outdoor area right behind the buffet with plenty of seating where you can eat and enjoy great views. Also, just like in part 1, all the food including those from the seafood and sushi buffet are complimentary, included with your cruise fare. Though keep in mind that some of the food are not replenished. So getting there early, at least for that special buffet, is necessary to not miss out on some of the items you'll see in the video. So let's get the tour started. Enjoy! So this is the uh, Filipino spaghetti with uh, hot dogs. That's interesting. I actually never tried that. I'm already curious about it. Sounds like something I will make for college. It's kind of like sweet. Is that so supposed to be? Like a little sweet, salty from the hot dogs? Oh, kids. I can only imagine how kids, they love this. It's uh, much sweeter than this uh, regular spaghetti. Like uh, meatball, um, meat sauce spaghetti. Too sweet for my taste. That's pretty cool. I get the chance to try that. This is chicken adobo. Mmm. That'd be so good. Over the rice, the sauce. I can taste. Oh yeah, that's really good. That's a nice uh, flavor there. I, see, I could be wrong, but I can definitely taste soy sauce, oyster sauce maybe, fish sauce, but it's definitely my kind of flavor that I like. I also got pork belly. Oh, whoa, just pure fat. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But let's try on this end here. That's um, oh, yeah, less fat. Yeah, and I, I never eat this stuff at home, so. <laughs> That looks pretty there, see? It doesn't have that much flavor to it. Slightly porky. I do like the um, the crispiness of the, um, the pen seared, I think. It's good, it's fun to eat. Was it barbecue? Yeah, barbecue meatloaf. Maybe they do have a, some kind of sauce on the side, but I didn't take it. Mm. I actually like it. A, a little bit leaning towards like sausage like sausage texture. Not too salty. I like that. The flavor is good. I like that. And it's salmon here. Last one. Salmon kubiak. Not bad. I like the pastry. Crispy outside. Just slightly dry and a little bit overcooked that's all but otherwise it's actually pretty decent the cream sauce then that should balance out the, the slight dryness from the the salmon that's actually pretty good
And here is the special Sifu and Sushi Lunch Buffet Spectacular. It usually happens on the final full day of your cruise, the day before you disembark. But be sure to check with a crew member just to make sure. The special buffet was super popular and busy. We highly recommend that you get there by 11.20 a.m., which is 10 minutes before it starts. Enjoy and see how some of the food tasted. Wasabi on top, then some soy sauce. Liberty. Yeah, there. Sushi rice. It doesn't taste like sushi at all. I don't. I don't taste the hint of vinegar. It's not that good. It's okay. Let me try this one. Some kind of fish. Some. White fish, I think. Well, I just don't have high expectation. That's the um. Uh, oh, fish roll right there. Mm -hmm. The rice is is very mild, so I definitely need to use the soy sauce for sure. Nice pop pop, but it's not that much flavor to it. This is a funky one. I don't know. Um, there's one like. Green, red, <laughs> this is yellow. It's, I think it's uh, food coloring. So fish eggs. Huh? It's salmon. It's kind of like um, California roll. Oh yeah. Kind of like that, I think. But it's more like with salmon instead of crab. Like a Philadelphia roll kind of? Maybe. It's cream cheese too. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's right. This one is, is it tuna? I didn't get a chance to catch the name of the fish. I don't think they labeled them. No, oh, okay. So let me try that. It's not tuna. Yeah. Some kind of fish. This egg one looks pretty though. Look at that. All right. Just ignore the, uh, the seaweed salad. Mm. The egg one is actually pretty good. I like the salmon one here, kind of like sashimi. This one, some kind of fish with some mayo, that's pretty good too. That's an imitation crab one right there. Okay. The imitation crab is a little bit tough, I think. Okay. This is like a huge imitation crab. Yeah, it's kind of tough. Yeah, it's very tough. The egg one's good, the salmon here's good. These are somewhat okay. Yeah, just don't have high expectation. Definitely a very big crowd still in line. Oh, it's at least, what, like a 20 minute wait to get to the sushi. Cocktail shrimp. Mm -hmm. 
This one. Shell is pretty tough, so be careful when you open this. You don't cut yourself. So you have to do half, break them half. Or at least for me, I can't break them in whole like uh, like crawfish. That sounds very tough. It is very it's tough. tough. Yeah. It's almost as tough as lo like lobster shell. This one a bit overcooked, I think. Yeah, you don't want to eat this part. The guts? The guts or the, uh, the poo poo, you know? <laughs> The undesirable stuff, gray stuff. Yeah. Eat it, can eat it with, let me try with the cocktail sauce, actually. They overcook it. The meat is still somewhat, I mean, I can't imagine how sweet the meat would be and delicious if they cook it like just right, not overcooked, because it's like way overcooked. I'm trying the uh, mussels. The mussels, you don't want the the hairy part here. This hairy part. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you don't want to eat that. Let me try another one, see if it's... Care gotta be careful. Yeah. Look, look how sharp that is. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be careful. This is kind of part of the brain. You can eat that if you want. Nice and creamy. A little bit more challenging to eat than. Ooh, ooh, this one. This one, I'm able to get it. Mini lobster tail. Look at that. Shake it, shake it, shake it. There you go. It's out. That's a really big one, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a little bit slightly better. So if you try to look for something like darker red, maybe it's um, it's not like complete, like cook it too long that this these guys, that were, they are red. They turn them more like orangey or like light pink even. That's that's a sign of like really, really overcooked.
They have uh, quite a few special desserts. Black Forest Tamisu. Let me flip it up here. He just like dump it on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, do you have a server helping? Yeah, it's like from that giant cake. Okay. Mm, it's good. That's a very good tiramisu. <laughs> this one, chocolate, something mousse. So white chocolate and then dark chocolate? Possible, yeah. This one is a white chocolate mousse. I don't know why I'm never really into mousse. But it's a white chocolate. Me, it will convince me more with the white chocolate. This one looks pretty. That looks fancy. On the very top. White chocolate mousse, I think, and then mango or something at the bottom. Yeah, it's mango flavor. That's actually not bad. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, the dessert is actually not bad. My, the tiramisu is still my favorite though. Black forest cake. Yeah, it's not bad actually. But the tiramisu cake, yeah. That's, that's the winner right here. That's so good. And that concludes our 2024 coverage of Princess Cruise's Lunch Buffet Food. Overall, we thought it was very good. There was a lot of selection and certainly more seafood than the other major cruise lines we've been on. And best of all, Princess is still the only mainstream cruise line that will consistently take your drinks order, not just specialty drinks orders, but also the complimentary ones like hot tea, ice water, iced tea, and coffee to your liking. Other cruise lines may do it here and there, but only Princess offers this level of consistent service at the buffet. We do, however, have a few quibbles with this buffet. On most days, the steamed rice is only located at the Mexican station, which is at a completely different area than the Asian and Indian food section. Sometimes they did have the rice pilaf next to the curries, but most of the times, they did not. Also, the ramen station, just note that the soups were not flavor at all, which is very interesting. So you have to add soy sauce or other sauces or oils to your liking. We also thought the common utensils like spoons and tongues should have been changed out more often. Also those table side utensils should be better checked for cleanliness as we encounter several dirty or at least dirty looking ones. Plus empty plates and bowls guests help themselves to were frequently not hot or even warm to the touch. Many other cruise lines had them nice and toasty, which helped reduce the spread of germs. So those were our thoughts about the buffet. But what do you think? We enjoy reading your comments and please do give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for a lot more content from our 2024 Princess Cruise, especially for food. Thank you very much. Happy cruising and we'll see you soon in another video.